girl, is there a relationship that actually lasts in Hollywood? Because it looks like Tamar Braxton and Jeremy Robinson are officially dun 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 dun. Yeah, shout salute to Tamar. I don't know what's going on, but I hope she figures out her situation. And where's her fiance? Um, the answer to that question will be not with Tamar, because it looks like Tamar got dumped because JR took to his Instagram story to announce that he had decided to end their relationship by writing so many questions, so many assumptions. I want to answer all that I can with respect. Yes, Tamar and I are no longer together. I ended the relationship to focus on getting back to positive energy and being a better person. What happened and why? That's our private place. No, I never cheated. No, I wasn't there when she was at her mother's place when her car was burglarized. JR also insisted he never cared about fame despite appearing on the Peacock reality dating show, which he claimed to have turned down several times before ultimately caving in. But we all saw this coming, right? I mean, there are a couple of clues Tamar herself has been dropping, including a very recent one where she talked about not feeling safe with anyone. What happened was that Tamar took to social media to reveal that she was the victim of a break-in and surveillance footage she posted from her apartment building parking clearly showed a group of people ransacking her car as the security cameras rolled. But it's not really the robbery that caught the attention of people, it's what Tamar captioned her post. She wrote, I got robbed at home, I'm not safe anywhere. I don't know why I keep getting violated. I had a lot in my car cause I don't live anywhere cause I'm not safe anywhere or with anyone. Girl, what do you mean you don't live anywhere? And when Tamar said that she didn't feel safe with anyone, did that mean even with Jeremy? Given that she's been engaged, the statement was puzzling to many fans since, theoretically, a person in a loving relationship should not feel unsafe and alone in a time of crisis. But now we know that they were indeed broken up. Another clue that the two were over was during an Instagram live session where Tamar was discussing her tour and other things. As fans sent their comments and she shared her news, Tamar did feel the need to share that she was alone during the live session. Oh, and there's nobody here with me today, so there's nobody telling me what, you know, remind me what to say. To those watching, it felt like it came out of nowhere, unless, of course, she was trying to communicate that she was no longer in a relationship with Jeremy. In addition, a look on Tamar's YouTube page also hints that her relationship with Jeremy has been over for a while. So Tamar started a YouTube series, Days with Tay, and the only person missing from the new series is her fiance, well, ex-fiance. But let's be honest, guys, does it really surprise you that Tamar and Jeremy are over, people have literally been expressing their concerns since Tamar and JR were first spotted together. And one of the things that has been said is that JR is someone who by the age of 16 had two felonies and landed in the juvenile jail where he got his GED. Okay, okay, you might argue that he turned his life around when he joined the Marine Corps after being released in 1995 and serving in Iraq and was even awarded an airstrike flight medal after surviving a grenade attack. And his also a successful attorney with his own firm. But how do you people explain how JR is the father of five children with four different women? And what's more is that two of these children were born in the same year, but from different women. This simply means that he was sleeping with both women at the same time and probably lying to both of them. I mean, that alone should have been a red flag that he has some serious commitment issues. And girl, 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 the issues with his baby mama have been messy. One of the women, Aniston J, Jenny essentially insinuated that Tamar brought chaos and unnecessary drama into her son's life. This was after Tamar said that between her and Jeremy, there are six children and they mean everything to her. And that is when Aniston clapped back with, this woman is in no way a bonus or stepmom to my son. My son does not mean everything to her and she has not thanked God for me and truthfully, none of his baby mamas. She has said demeaning, disrespectful and outrageous things about how I have chosen to co-parent with my son's father and the efforts I have made to keep him involved. Speaking of all the drama, JR was also accused by another of his baby mamas for having a fetish for black women. So much so that he often refers to himself as light-skinned, white chocolate, and often says that he is the minority within the minority. I don't even know how to react to that. The ex also said that she found Jeremy extremely rude, arrogant, racially insensitive, womanizing, and degrading, adding that he claims to be an 
ally of the people and a protector of black women, but his actions say otherwise. In fact, she also detailed their co-parenting issues, saying he is very dismissive of parental concerns and manipulates her daughter by sending screenshots of their adult conversations in his family group chat. She also called JR a colonizing predator that fulfills his fetish of biracial babies to further feed his ego and desire of wanting to be accepted amongst the black community. Someone else actually corroborated this story when she posted about JR being her ex sponsor, saying, I met her fiance off a dating app and we started off from there. He's a lawyer out here in Atlanta and he spends big bags to say the least. His type is young, pretty black women. He started taking me on dates and occasionally giving me an allowance, bags, and rent. This was also very recent, so I'm going to say this proposal to Tamar seems very fishy and not genuine. He's also getting exposed by other women, which isn't surprising to me at all. Under my assumption, he is definitely using Tamar to get famous, and it's clear as day. Tamar, you in danger, ma'am. So should Tamar have been more careful getting into that relationship? That would be a big yes. And as much as JR insisted that he did not cheat, the streets are talking and looks like homeboy has been a very busy bee. Well, let's also not forget how Tamar has had the most troublesome relationships herself. And it could be her behaviors that got her dumped. For starters, there was Vince Herbert. And as we can all recall, that relationship ended with a very messy divorce. While the divorce wasn't too surprising, Tamar fans later learned that their marriage was filled with so much more drama than what was evident in their reality TV show, Tamar and Vince. In fact, in an interview that took place a month after Tamar filed for divorce, Evelyn Braxton, Tamar's mother, shared the shocking truth of what was really going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors. Everybody saw Vince as a knight in shining armor, but behind closed doors, that's a horse of another color. As for Tamar's next relationship with David Adifoso, that one was just as messy. In this relationship is when Tamar attempted to take her own life, and it was David who found her. Tamar later shared in an interview with Tamron Hall that her household became difficult because of her problems at work. Our household became very hard. And it was hard because I wasn't happy at my job and I hadn't been happy for years. But in a very unsuspected turn of events, David accused Tamar of DV. I will never, never bring myself to, to a Tamar, somebody I've spent so long with, I never will. It's just not something I will do. I'll speak the truth, and here's the truth. I've been a victim of domestic, domestic I don't know guys, maybe some of these things that happened in Tamar's previous relationships also started cropping up in her relationship with JR. We all know that Tamar also has a history of not being the easiest person to deal with. Or maybe JR has just been manipulating and using her like people have been saying since they first were spotted together. But you know what? Let me know what you think. Was this a breakup waiting to happen? Were there just too many red flags in this relationship? Sound off in the comments section below and don't forget to watch this next video.